hi hello welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl jerry kabiru jerry wakafiru i know you're looking at that it is so beautiful beautiful even me i'm so shocked i made it so anyway i made an autumn or a stool with a storage in the middle let me show you how i made it so as you've seen my past videos i always use synthetic paint this time i added thinner bad idea my paint became too light i had to go two to three rounds of paint and you know as usual i like doing it once and we move on to the next thing but it was not that bad i added a um, few more rounds and at the end it looked like not hand painted but machine painted but you can see that machine painting it's just my hand so anyway you can find synthetic paint on a car garage or anywhere they're fixing cars just go and ask them for first try uh, synthetic paint and you'll get it for me it works for the tire and it works amazingly so if you have any question just any question leave it down on my comment section on on my youtube channel i'll get back to you and if you have not subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing turn on your notification button so that you get to know when i put up new video don't forget to leave a comment and give this video a thumbs up also share so continue watching to the end and you see how we are gonna make first you need a foam i went to gikomba and i bought a foam they told me this is a high density uh, i still i have an idea so yes it's a high density the pink one so and then i got two round wooden board there you see and then after getting the two round wooden board one you will use it on top the other one you use it on the bottom and so i'm just cutting the forms i'm sorry that my video is a bit out of focus in this section i have no idea what happened um but as you can see um i took a lining cut it and now i'm attaching the foam and the wood or the board together just using a contour glue then after that i used steel contour to attach the lining to the wood now you should use a punch or a pin punch uh, i was waiting for one it never arrived on time so i just decided to use contour but i'm still going to make a few more pieces you will see when using a punch so i put the lining together um, and then after putting the lining together we are going to go outside and paint the bottom part and we are going to come back to work on the rest so that we can give it time to dry so i'm still using synthetic uh, paint i decided to go with black um, use it to paint because it's a fast dry so i painted and i went back to work on my stuff by the time i came out it was working after this meanwhile i will go look for fabric um we are supposed to look for fabric in gikomba and in initially so that we can cover now the foam with the lining so that we can cover my client wanted an african fabric so we are going to shop for that i will keep on updating you as much as i can okay now we're going to take the wood i did decide to put a wood in my tire to just give it a stabilization the tire is in good condition but since it's going to be sat on i thought just putting a wood in there will give it stability so that no matter who sits on it you don't go like don't sit don't sit you're going to break my tire so i just give, decided to give it a stability and then after putting it i will put a screw but the screw i decided to put it only on the bottom side because on the top side you want it to be as neat as possible for your client to be so happy so i'm putting a screw and screwing the wood and the tire together though the wood i cut it in a way it was supposed to be very exactly fitting but i still fe felt like adding a screw will give it more security now i decided i'm not going to edit out that part the part where we keep on missing and putting it back no because i felt like it's going to start to show you that i am just an ordinary person doing this and i have a lot of mistakes in all the way for me to produce something 
So if I can, so can you. What do you think? Leave a, a, leave a comment down on my channel and give this video a thumbs up as we go and share with a friend of a friend. Let's make these storages uh, as many as we can, you know? So if let's go and get a fabric now. No, you can't hear me. I'm in this you see, as you can see. So we are here looking for Aki Ankara fabric to finish our tire stores. I've been walking and this place on Fridays is closed from 11.30 to 1.30. They go for prayers. So I just happened to be here, but I found one place that is open. So let me see the prices and see if we can take a video of that. Into a store here in this leaf. My place where I get the fabric is no, it's so close. So we have to wait because these guys are so expensive. We have to wait for that place to open. So I'll hang around, go to a hotel, eat, and wait for that time. I just think instead of just sitting around waiting, we're going to go to Bukomba, get a few pieces to finish the table and then come back to sleep. So let me take you to Bukomba, then you come back to sleep. So let me give you a summary of what happened. I couldn't get to buy my fabric because they were in prayers. So I decided let me go to Bikomba, buy some something totally different and then come back to sleep. But I guess you'd see what happened when I went to Bikomba. Stay tuned for that. I hope you're enjoying so far. So guys, I got so many kitambas in Gikomba. I got so many kitambas in Gikomba, but I really, really liked this one right here. And a whole piece goes for a thousand. It's about maybe, how Six yards. Six yards. Like about five and a half or five meters for a thousand. I buy them in Italy, but you know today is prayer day. You go there. I went there. It was closed, so I said I just come in Gikomba buy other stuff. But I happened to find this mama selling these ones, and I'm buying. So we finished that table. See you there. Now here is our fabric. We are going to use it on the top of our uh, autumn or stool. So there. I loved this fabric. It's an awesome, awesome fabric. I think I'm gonna buy this and use it in my house. I am thinking that. So anyway, uh, I'm cutting it depending on how I feel like it's going to fit. Excuse my baby there. She doesn't want me working, but she thinks we are playing and I'm not playing, I'm working. So there she is. Her name is Ginger. She's my baby. So um, I was supposed to use a paper punch or fabric punch to attach that and since I didn't have it I just wanted to make sure we got this we can do this options um, so I'm using very small nails to put the fabric together but I would advise you to try and look for the punch for the safety if you don't get the punch uh, you can use the nails make sure they are very very short like very very short now you see me pulling the fabric together here and there i'm a perfectionist i like things flowing so i'm putting the fabric together and trying to cover everything and when i was doing that i just thought a thought came to me and i thought isn't this how we are supposed to be you know fixing ourselves by self-development here and there putting a nail to what should stop and adding a nail to what should continue sometimes, you know? I just thought, how much, if you put yourself in through a self-development, like you decide, oh, this is what I want, and this is what I, I, the kind of a person I want to be, can you really grow into that? That's what I thought. And my goal is to make sure that I do that for myself. I don't know about you. Leave a comment down below if you are thinking about self-development. And self-development does not only focus on the finances part. It focuses on your spiritual, your mental, your emotional, your relationships, everything. It focuses on that. So anyway, I'm pulling the fabric here and there just to make sure we have a neat work. A neat work because your client should be happy. You know, for me, I always think... If I impress this client, she, she will talk about me, she will refer me to other people. But if she's not impressed, 
then she's likely to either talk negative or not talk about you. So every client is a potential business growth. Remember that. Write it down. Every client is a potential business growth because they will come back or they will refer someone and that's how your business grows. So for me, when I'm working in such things, I like putting all of me, like making sure that I deliver to the best, the best I can. That if the client sees this, it is beyond their expectation. That's what I hope. Sometimes it doesn't go that way. And sometimes I hit a, a, a bottom rock on this, but sometimes it really works. And most of the, my goal is that all the time it should work. So anyway, I'm putting the fabric. After this, um, I got, I received my fabric punch, and I am going to pin punch on my fabric instead of using the nails. So I'm going to remove all those nails. It's not presentable for a client. I just wanted to make sure I have the sample going on so that when we do the perfect one. You can you can see by the way you will see the next video the next video if you haven't put on your notification button this is the time to put on your notification button because you get to see when i put up next video so i hope you're enjoying what we are doing here and i hope it's giving you ideas on how to do this uh, you know um as much as you can ask me question try it out Practical practicals is what you find out where you are and what you need to improve So you should try this and see how it goes So anyway, there you go We are like done. We try it out. It was working good. Now we get the wheels and screw them together On the board. I told you you need two boards. You see why? Top and bottom these wheels I bought or legs, I bought them in Gikomba, a pack, uh, a set goes, a set of four, it's sold as a set of four. So I bought them in Gikomba and some, I can't make videos sometimes in Gikomba because um, I always go and shop a lot of stuff so I'm carrying stuff and it's hard to make videos but if you go to the furniture side you will find this type of uh, legs or wheels. I know people like asking me how much they were but nowadays I like when people go and find out themselves because maybe I went and bargained and then I sent you to the same place and you're trying to get the, the, the same price and all that and maybe it's not fair for as a business person so you should go there and find out how much it is and try and bargain also you know that's how people grow anyway um, I always put two screws in each wheel first in every project that I do, every leg I put two screws first and then after putting two screws um, I will add more screws. The reason why I put two screws is to put my stool or table upside down and see if it is working. So I put three wheels but I will end up putting four. It's only that I, my screws were out, the ones for the wheels, they were out, and I will get more and put the, the other one. Now I'm attaching the screw, the, the wood, to the tire, you see, there it is. I know you can see the screws showing, so we're going to put a foam in there, and a fabric, and you won't see that. And here is our final result what do you think please leave a comment down below don't forget that don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and do not forget to share with a friend so i know you can see that fabric that one i'm going to cover it up you have to watch the next video just to see the perfect side of it so after that i had to be the one to try it out because i was so excited there i am trying out trying it out i couldn't let anyone else do it but me 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 and it is fun i'm making this for my house i'm gonna make this for my house so guys i am out and about and until the next video i'm gonna say bye i hope you really enjoyed and you got some idea and until then stay safe and bye